All right, ladies, so we're going to be talking about how to match your foundation to your face. Do you do your face and your neck? Do you do your face, neck, and decollete? There's a lot of professional makeup artists out there that are saying all different types of things. So they're saying that you test your face, or they're saying you test your face and your neck to get a color, or you're say, they're saying that you test your face, neck, decollete area, and shoulders. Or you can take the inner for, your forearm and test because there is not a lot of sun that hits that inner arm, and you can get more of a, a, a true reading. So. First and foremost, before we start swatching all these foundations all over our face, let's figure out what our undertone is. So there's two different things. There's an undertone that you're born with, you're either cool, you're neutral, or you're warm. Or there's the overtones, which is sun damage over time, that's going to add redness to the skin, that's your overtone. So we really wanna talk about your undertones and how, and how you're going to pick out a foundation because you need to know first if you are cool, if you're warm, if you're neutral, in order to fall into a foundation category. So first and foremost, the easiest way to do that is to turn your arm over to your forearm and look at your veins. So what do your veins read? Are they more of a blue? So you're gonna be cool. So if you see more blue veins, you're gonna be more of a cool, undertone, which means you're going to want to pick a pinkier foundation, a pinkier base. If you look and you see that your uh, veins are green, you're going to be more of a warmer undertone, which means you're going to want to go for more of a yellow or a golden foundation. So this is important to find. I kind of fall into the middle. I've always been pretty neutral. I am very fair, but I'm more a neutral, like a cool neutral is basically what I am. So this is important. So when I go, especially to like the drugstore where I can't test the product, I'll look for things that are foundations that say cool neutrals or it's neutral. I, I totally stay away from warms and, and yellows and that does not look good on my skin tone. So that's the first and foremost thing to find the category that you fall into. Then what's the deal? How do you test the foundation? Do you test it for your face? Is that the real color that you want? Or is it gonna be on your neck, your decollete area? And let's talk about this. Okay, first and foremost, it never makes sense for me to test my chest area because it has sun damage. I like to wear V-necks like this in Florida for the last <laughs> forever, and I have more sun damage and pigmentation on my chest. So that's not going to be a great area to test. So you're going to, there's a lot of different rules. I mean, everybody's gonna have their own opinion, but mine as a professional makeup artist, I think the best way to do this is of course be in great sunlight, great natural light. It's very hard when you're at the, uh, the, the uh, department store and you're under fluorescent lights and the lighting's not very good or it's more yellow lighting, you're not gonna get a really true understanding of the foundation you're buying. So what I suggest is to get a bunch of different samples be able to go out in the actual real light and test them. Take a Q-tip in each of your samples and test them. Use a stripe, like with a Q-tip, stripe it down to your face and your neck. All right, so whatever, whatever one looks the most natural and blends nicely without you blending it. You gotta see that it really looks like your skin tone. That is going to be how you're going to find and and match the right foundation color for you. Now, the question also comes up, do I use foundation on my face and do I take it down to my neck? Yes, you are gonna want to, the face does not stop at the jawline. So our face continues on into our neck. So you're going to, and this doesn't mean that you do a pumps and you put it all over your neck. No, this means that when you're actually putting on, whether your hands or, or a makeup brush, you're gonna be putting it on and you're gonna be dragging down the color. You're not gonna be putting it all over because you don't want it to transfer. Say you're wearing a white, crisp, collared shirt. You don't want it to transfer. Speaking of transfer, you might wanna get a body foundation. So if you're going to be taking the foundation down on your neck and you want it to be on the decollete. So say you're wearing a strapless and you're at an evening event or you have a V-neck on like I do and you want it, you want to kind of even out the skin tone, you can get a body foundation that's not going to move. That's what it's for, for the body. So you can get a body foundation 
you can have you it will match you can find one that will match your foundation and then you have a really nice completed uniformed look to the face so that's basically how you can fix your undertones this is how you can match your foundation to your face and your neck you want to make sure that they're evenly balanced out and then you can find a body foundation if you want to go down to your decollete and your shoulder area if you have pigmentation or you want to really nicely smooth it out that's a really great way so ladies until my next video I'll see you later. Thank you.